What's up guys, Josiah Martin here, and today you're hanging out with the Alaskan Outsider. Today's mission is to trudge out here through the woods in Alaska to get ourselves an eagle photo. I recently just put up my collection of metal print artworks at a local coffee shop and realized I don't even have an eagle photo. I mean, can I even consider myself an Alaskan photographer? I mean, after all, Alaska is known for all of its eagles. I mean, heck, the patriotic emblem of America is the eagle. And I mean, I have the best chance of anyone to get some awesome eagle shots. So to redeem my pride, I'm gonna go out here through the woods with my friend Grady. We're gonna bring his dogs with us. Hopefully they don't scare off the birds. And we'll go snowshoe through feet and feet of snow to get this epic photo. And I also am curious to test out this new Canon R5 and see how the animal autofocus is with bird photography. I've seen a lot of people using this and I want to see if it's going to hold up on this cold Alaskan day. It's about negative eight degrees right now. So without further ado, let the Alaskan adventure begin. So right now we're looking for this place where there's a ton of eagles. Grady told me that he's been out to this spot. You go through the woods and you end up hitting a power line and then we walk up through the hill and this is just a gathering place where eagles love to perch. It's got a great viewpoint, they can look for food. And so on this very cold winter morning, we're gonna gear up in our snowshoes and really put this Canon R5 to the test with how it does with bird photography. I woke up this morning and I knew it was gonna be a cold one when I saw negative three on my car. But what's your car saying right now, Grady? I think we're showing about negative eight right now. Oof, it's only getting colder, so. We're, uh, we're gonna be bundled up, but we're gonna try and get the drone up in the air as well if it's not too cold and get some awesome eagle shots today. So Grady, how'd you first hear about this uh, place where all these eagles are? Just kind of wandered past it. Noticed that they were all here. So figured we'd check it out today and see if we can find a few and catch them before they wake up. Yeah, so essentially we're starting off our trek crossing this lake here outside of Soldana. And eventually we'll run into a power line. So then we're gonna go up the power line, up the hill a couple miles, and we'll arrive hopefully at a resting ground of a bunch of eagles. Although cold weather can be challenging to get outside and stay warm and use all of your equipment with the batteries and everything, cold weather does make for some really crystal clear mornings and beautiful sunrises. So it's eight o'clock right now, sunrise is set for 8 a.m. We're just starting to see a crest above the hillside. We're excited to go out on this mission to try and capture our prized photo of an eagle. And this new Canon R5 camera does have some phenomenal features. It's got a 45 megapixel sensor, so you can get some intense detail. And on this morning with some harsh sunlight, it will be really nice to have all that information to really pull back the shadows of that eagle in contrast with the, the bright morning sun. Shiloh's making fresh new tracks. First people out going off into the woods. We got, looks like some rabbit tracks going into the trees here. Came from back around there. You can see his little hop and skip and missing the snow. There's lots of different types of animals out here in these woods. So we're right here and we're just outside the refuge boundary. And it looks like if we keep going and make a right, we can follow this power line a little about a half mile that way. And then we'll make another right into the woods and we'll stay right outside the refuge and be able to get some shots of eagles, hopefully. All right, so after hiking for a good while, finally made it open to this clear cut where the power line is. And that's our signal to turn right and keep on venturing. Well, we've been seeing quite a few uh, crows flying overhead, but maybe the eagles don't wake up until nine. We'll see. But Grady's secret spot where these eagles are supposed to be is still ways up here, so I'm gonna keep trudging. 
Looks like we got one eagle taking a rest on the tree here, still waking up. There's oh, our there's first eagle one sighting. One. Oh, tree to the right. we even got a few more right there. Okay, they're in this area. Now we gotta find more. Oh look, there's a moose. We got a moose up on the top of this next hill. Looks like a cow. Don't see any calves with her or anything, so it should be fine. All right, we got our first moose. We'll see how the dogs handle it. Oh yeah, going for a walk. Just one of the very common sights you'll see when out trekking here in Alaska. This is where the moose walked right into those woods over there. Always gotta stay vigilant out here. Don't want to uh, get trampled by a moose. I'd prefer not. There there, folks, beautiful eagle. All right, well, we made it to the top of this hill and this is the spot where we're gonna kinda set up base camp, drop the backpack off, get the tripod out. Right now I've got a 24 to 70 lens on. I'm gonna swap it out for my 70 to 200 to have a little bit more uh, zoom length. Then to kinda get our surroundings, get our bearings, we're gonna send the drone up to try and see if there's any clusters of eagles nearby. Obviously we're not gonna harass them, we're just using it to scope out the area and see where they're at. So anyway, here we made it. Now we just need to find that perfect eagle to photograph. getting pretty cold out there so I went ahead and just put my camera back in my backpack because my fingers were barely even able to push the shutter button anyway. We made it back here to the office to warm up and it also gave me the chance to look at the photos and I gotta say we ended up coming away with some pretty awesome eagle photos. I can now say with pride that I consider myself an Alaskan photographer. So the adventure was totally fun and an absolute success. Uh, I have to say though, the 70 to 200 millimeter lens was just not quite long enough for some of those eagles that I was trying to capture. I'd have to like walk up to the tree and then the eagle would fly away. Or I'd walk up to the tree and I'd basically be shooting straight up at the eagle instead of more shooting at the eagle from a distance. So I think in the near future, I may be considering getting a longer zoom lens, like a 500 millimeter lens or something. But we'll have to see. But anyway, that trip was totally great and the Canon R5 made my life very easy out there despite it being cold. The animal autofocus was picking up right on the little eyeball of the eagle and it'd, it'd turn away and, and come back and I might have to refocus a couple times, but for the most part, I was incredibly happy with it and uh, like I said, it made my job really easy. So overall, I'm just really happy with this Canon R5 camera. It's been really good to me and Honestly, I, I can't wait for our next Alaskan adventure together. So if you want to make sure you're on the next Alaskan adventure, please consider subscribing to this channel. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thanks.